Hello, my name's Stephen Darlington, and I'm greatly honoured to have been invited to give a talk as a webinar session to people who are involved in the World Peace Choral Festival next Saturday. It really is a wonderful venture and it's so moving to have seen so many choirs have, have entered this year. My topic has got a title of more divine than human. I guess any of us who are involved in music and particularly singing would find that quite an easy idea to connect with. It was actually a comment that was written down by the Venetian ambassador to England in the year 1515, who heard the king's choristers singing. And he wrote down that the sound had transported him so it sounded more divine than human. And that's a springboard for me to talk a little bit about the tradition of English choral singing in liturgical music. But I'm also going to try to introduce people to a little bit of new repertory. By new I mean repertory from the past which is perhaps less well known. So in particular there's a glorious amount of music that was collected together at the beginning of the 16th century to be sung in Eton College Chapel. And this is not music which is very often performed these days, but I'm hoping to show people how wonderful it is. And then finally, there's a composer called Francesco Durante, who was working in Naples in the 18th century. He also wrote a wonderful collection of music. And there's a requiem mass that I'd just like to introduce people to. Some of the movements can be done separately and I hope everyone will find that interesting. Anyway, I look forward to seeing people on Saturday and I hope very much to, uh, that you will enjoy listening to what I have to say about English choirs, about which of course there are an awful lot of myths and stories.